And because she wore her riding hood everywhere that she went, and because her name happened to be Red, it wasn't long before everybody referred to her as Red Riding Hood. Her beautiful cloak was the talk of the town, and no matter where she was, she always stood out from the rest of the crowd, and people always watched her. But deep in the forest, where no one ever went, something else was watching Red. And in her bright red cloak, it was going to be very easy to keep an eye on her. William? Go on then, get the guns. Oh, don't be too rash, fellas, it's nowhere near us. William, be careful. Watch yourself, you two. They're very crafty, those wolves. Stay by the fire and um, we'll be back before you know it. Now, you two, come and sit near the fire for a while. I hope they'll be all right. <laughs> William and Jacob are both fit and healthy young men. They'll know what to do. No, I to do. <laughs> Don't make me laugh. I didn't see you running after them, you old fool. Ah, if only Blowboy was here, then we'd be safe. Oh, don't start that again, Louis. Now, if Blowboy was here. Blowboy. Don't tell me you've never heard of Blowboy. Well, let me tell you then. Blowboy lived in the same town as Red Riding Hood. And if anyone was brave enough to fight the creatures that lived in the dark forest, it was Blue Boy. Blue Boy was a hunter, a brave and strong hunter. And he knew the forest like the back of his hands. And when he came back from the hunt, all of the girls loved to hear his stories. <laughs> and uh, some of them were even true. Wait till you see. 